Hello to all my beautiful viewers out there. Today I'm going to be talking about the upcoming release of the Air Jordan 1 Who Said Man Was Not Meant to Fly colorway. Now I know you're probably sitting there like, Daniel what the hell did you just say? Yeah, so there's an upcoming colorway of the Jordan 1s that has been dubbed the Who Said Man Was Not Meant to Fly colorway. It's been dubbed that because there was a commercial back in 1985 that basically says that it right at the end of the commercial. It's a very iconic commercial. I think it's Jordan Brand's first commercial, but I don't want to make that call. But in order to get an idea of what inspired the actual colorway of this upcoming release, I think we need to watch the commercial. So I've got the commercial here. Get ready to enjoy the like 144p commercial. It's super bad quality. It's like absolutely horrible. But it was 1985, guys. There was probably only TVs that... TVs back then, not that I would have known, were probably like, damn, this is HD as hell, but looking at it now, I can barely see what's going on. But we need to watch it just to understand what the colorway is coming from and where, what it's inspired by. So here it is, guys. Okay, so as cheesy as that commercial is with the whole like plane taking off noise and then landing as soon as the bucket gets sunk, it's it's iconic. Like it's it's really cheesy. It's really I, I love it though. It's really 80s. I kind of wish they would bring ads like this back when they bring these colorways out. Like they should recreate the ads. I think that would be an awesome idea. So Nike, if you're watching. Start bringing back those old ads, dudes. I absolutely love it. And I love that, like, voice at the end that, like, makes the Jordan brand seem, like, super serious and super upper class by when you're, like, Air Jordan. And it's, like, super deep. You can barely even see that Wings logo as well because of the, like, quality of the actual ad. Ay, ay, ay. But, anyway, you get it. The colorway is inspired by the outfit that Michael Jordan wore in the commercial. I know if you can barely even see it, but it is a black and red ensemble that he is wearing to match the Air Jordan 1 breads that he is obviously wearing and they showcase for like the first 10 seconds. It's like super focused in on the Air Jordan 1 breads. But yeah, it's meant to be focused on that. And then obviously it goes into him dunking. But yeah, the whole colorway is meant to be surrounded around this outfit that he is wearing in this first commercial. Now honestly, from all the images that I've seen of this upcoming colorway, it looks like a nice pair of shoes. The samples that have been debuted on Sneaker Bar Detroit and a lot of other, you know, info release um, forums and stuff like that, it, they, look, they look really good. The quality of the leather looks absolutely insane. It looks super soft, super, super comfy, which that's what you would kind of want when you're, you know, paying homage to something like one of the first ever commercials for the Air Jordan 1, you kind of want the quality of it to be really good. Um, looking at the actual photos, the colorway is really nice. It's got primarily black and white, but all of the color blocking is surrounded by this red outline. Very, very nice, very nice touch. Uh, it comes with red laces by default, but obviously it being an Air Jordan 1, Air Jordan 1 OG releases always come with extra laces, which I think is a very nice touch. I'm glad that they keep doing it. Now, I have some issues with it. Not any issues with the shoe really at all. The colorway is awesome. I love the story behind it. It's an awesome, awesome shoe. What I don't like is the apparent rumor from Sneaker Bar Detroit is that this pair of Air Jordan 1s is coming out on Black Friday in an OG cut uh, as a replacement for what was going to be the Air Jordan 1 breads in that colorway. Now, what what ha what happened at the start of the year is we got this apparent rumor that the Air Jordan 1 breads, the iconic shoe that got banned by the NBA because it didn't have enough white on it, was going to release on uh, Black Friday in November, and it was going to release in an OG cut. It was going to release in... Um a, in, in the in a general release, so it was going to release in the most pairs we've ever seen in an Air Jordan One drop ever. Now, 
everyone kind of assumed it was going to be the breads because the colorway, the colors that were labeled in this Jordan 1 release were black, red, and I think that was it. I think it was literally just the colors that were releasing were black and red. And everyone was like, well, the most iconic Jordan 1 colorway is literally black and red. But unfortunately, well, unfortunately, the Who Said Man Was Not Meant to Fly colorway does fit that color description. It fits the black and red color description that if we went off those rumors at the start of the year, it makes sense. This does fit that color description. But everyone was going off the idea that the, that the breads were going to release in that OG cut with, you know, basically the one-to-one, -one, um, you know, silhouette of the 1985 original pairs. And we've kind of been let down, or at least, I mean, it was a rumor, so I'm kind of being, I'm kind of going off rumors, but I've been kind of let down because I thought they were going to be Breads releasing on the Black Friday. Now, they could still be releasing the Breads on Black Friday. It's not actually confirmed that this pair is the replacement for the pair, well, not the replacement, but the actual pair that was going to release on Black Friday, because originally the original rumors were the Black Friday pair that was going to release was the Gym Reds, the ones that released earlier on in this year, but they released earlier on in this year, so once they released, everyone was like, oh, thank God, so it's actually the Breads that are releasing, but today we found out, nope, it's going to be the Who Said Man Was Not Meant to Fly. Now, how do I feel about that? I honestly want the Breads to release. I don't want these to release, but in saying that, I don't hate this colorway. This is actually an awesome colorway with an awesome story behind it, but... I prefer the breads over this, honestly. But, I, yeah, I'm not bummed out that this pair is releasing either. And if they're releasing Jordans from this point onwards, from Black Friday onwards, in OG cuts, like, like the 1985 pairs, you know, with their height and their width and everything like that, I'm okay with that. But I would have kind of liked that whole new retro saga to start off with, you know, one of the most iconic colorways of the Jordan 1s, which is the breads, not this. Unfortunately, I can't get at what I want, but we're getting this instead. And yeah, I, I, yeah, I'm just a little bit torn up about it. I kind of wish that we were getting the Air Jordan 1 breads and not the Who Said Man Was Not Meant to Flies, but I'll take what I can get and I will probably still pick up this pair, although those red laces are still kind of off-putting. I hope that the extra laces they come with are like black and white because I'll I'm going to change them up. It's a bit it's a bit too flashy red there, but to overall sum up the actual release of these shoes, the quality looks insane. I'm keen for it to drop if it drops in the OG silhouette. Um, the story behind it is awesome. I like that it's got a story behind it that makes it more appealing and, you know, makes me actually want to pick it pick it up because the Jim Reds that released earlier on this year, I don't think had a story behind it and then I was kind of like, "Meh, it's just it's just an Air Jordan 1 OG with, like, some nice colors on it, but it, does, it doesn't have a story. This pair has a story behind it, and that's what's kind of making me gravitate towards it. But even though all these, you know, positive things about this release, I'm still very bummed out that we're not getting the Air Jordan 1 breads. Because, come on, man, everyone wants a pair of breads. I can't be the only one here sitting here saying... I don't want this, I want the breads. You, some of you guys got to agree, right? I mean, let me know in the comment section if you disagree and you want this to release over the breads, but I'm way more interested in the breads releasing on Black Friday than these bad boys. But again, that's a debate we can have in the comment section. But yeah, no. I, I want to know your thoughts on the release, guys. Are you keen for this colorway to release? What do you think of the story behind it? Do you think it's justifiable to release that as the first shoe that's going to be, you know like the OGs back in 1985 with that, you know, super high cut, um, you know, the proper width, everything like that. Now, if you guys don't know the difference between like all the three different cuts, I'll chuck an image up now, <laughs> um, displaying the different cuts. So the shoe at the front is the Air Jordan Chicago is from 1985. The one in the middle is from 94 and the one all the way at the back is from 2015. So That'll show you the difference between the cuts and, you know, everything that I'm rambling on about, like, the OG silhouette and the OG cut. Basically, what happened was, is that the back of the shoe slowly curves inwards, like this, the later the retros start happening. So, in obviously, in 1985, it's like this. In 1994, it's like that. 
And then by 2015, the back of the shoe is literally like that. You can see it in the image. You can see it in the image. So what's happening is these are getting released. Well, the Who Said Man Was Not Meant to Flies are getting released in that OG cut, like in 1985, where it's like that at the back of the shoe. And it just makes the overall silhouette of the shoe actually just look a little bit better. But yeah, now let me know in the comment section what your thoughts are on the release, um, on the cut. Just all the details with it, guys. Let me know in that comment section below. And that's it, guys. That's all the details that we have, besides that it's obviously going to release for 160 USD. I mean, that's not really a surprise. That's the normal price of a pair of Air Jordan 1 OG Retros. And they're going to release probably on Nike.com. I mean, that's probably a guarantee, as well as probably a bunch of outlets as well. Definitely have a look out for them. I mean, if they're going to be the same as what the details were for the Bread 1 release, and they're going to be the most, you know, um, most general release ever of Air Jordan 1, there's going to be heaps of pairs of them. So you won't, be able, you won't miss out on a pair of these bad boys. But again, to sum it all up, awesome shoe, awesome colorway, quality looks awesome, story behind it's cool, but I'm very disappointed about it because it's taking over what was apparently going to be the Bread release. But, what can I do? I can only complain about it on the internet as much as I can, guys. I, yeah. Maybe they'll release the Jordan 1 breads in an OG cut sometime soon, but now that they're releasing these guys, who knows when that's going to happen, guys. But, let me know about all your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to follow all of the socials in the description. Helps you keep up to date with everything I'm doing. I'll be streaming most nights, so definitely pop in and say good day. And, of course, until next time, guys, I'll catch you later.